Today I'm gonna show you how to build a Lego Spider-Man habitat. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's time to build a new Lego minifigure habitat. Here on screen we have the latest one, which is the Van Gogh habitat with the bedroom and the small sunflower here. Uh, last uh, week I did a video, a recap about uh, my past year on YouTube and I realized that I only built one minifigure habitat for some Marvel character, which was one year ago, the Hulk. So today I decided to bring in a new character, the Spider-Man, and to build another 8x8 habitat for Spider-Man over here. Of course, to go along with Spider-Man, I decided to add Mary Jane. So here is the Mary Jane minifigure that I created. Uh, I took the torso from the Sugar Fairy CMF. Uh, I don't have any legs that match the color, but I think uh, this one is okay. Why I picked these two is because I'm gonna recreate the upside down kiss uh, scene into an habitat. Now, before I start building, I'm gonna show you what I built over a year ago, maybe two years ago, quite a long time ago. I already recreated that scene on a sort of vignette kind of thing, but you can see this creation was not very good. Uh, the colors are all over the place, the shape of the vignette is a little bit weird, and it lacks a lot of details. And also one important thing, that scene is at night uh, with the rain, with a lot of water, and this scene really didn't capture that. So let's see if uh, after all this time, uh, with my newly acquired building skills, I can make a better scene and even fit that in an 8x8 habitat, which is uh, less than half or less than one third the size of the previous mock. So now let's move all of these to the side and let's start to build our habitat. Of course, here we have our 8x8 base. I already started to build up uh, the sidewalk. So what I'm going to do is a corner of the road and then the scene is going to take place here. This is two plates I. I already attached a few tiles, some jumpers for the figures and also some trans clear uh, tiles and slopes to create some water effect. Now we can start to add the road a little bit lower level. Here, as you can see, I already added a few uh, transparent parts to create the effect of this water flowing down. And you can see over here, I left a, a gap over there to, where, to which I can add this power blast that I like to use for all this flowing water effect. So, so it's raining and the water is flowing down on the lower road. Here we can add this corner one to have a sort of broken up kind of road. And then I'm gonna add a grill piece. So here we can have some sort of drain and the water flowing down. So that's why here I'm gonna add this trans uh, blue part. And then we can tile up the rest of the sidewalk. So over here we have the base of the build done. And I think we can add Mary Jane over here more or less. Now, uh, one thing we were missing in the previous build were uh, details. So this was in the previous build as well. So I'm going to add this in the corner here to give a little bit of color. We can add a red and eh? we can add a mouse over here on the back side and another sort of garbage kind of thing. We are in some back alley over here in this scene. So I think a little bit of details are welcome. Now, another thing I wanted to create is rain. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to use this lightsaber uh, road pieces, put them on an angle with the minifigure stand, uh, trans clear, and try to create this sort of diagonal rain effect. Then you guys will have to let me know in the comments if you think this effect works. Okay, now let's build up uh, the, the walls. So it's a corner, so I decided to instead of mixing up the color so much, we are going to go with two different colors for two different buildings, one right and one left. So over here, I went with dark bluish gray, a lot of Masory brick. Over here, I'm going to add one uh, brick which starts on two sides over here. And here we're going to create a broken up window. So I have some side connection to where I can add these, uh, again, trans clear uh, slopes to create the, the effect of a broken window. I'm going to add one on the right and one on the left with different uh, directions going on and then I can add one sort of wooden uh, plank blocking 
this broken window. So this is a similar effect I did in the previous mock, but with the bro broken effect, broken glass effect that I didn't have before. Here, of course, we can add a little slope to close up the habitat over there. And then again, continue building up with this. Actually, maybe before we add this, uh, let's continue with the wall on this side. On this side, I decided to go with dark red and a little bit of reddish brown to mix it up a little bit. Here, as you can see, I wanted to add some details. So for example, here I have some sort of music lesson sticker that I'm gonna put there. I was actually thinking here to recreate a sort of graffiti effect. I actually did something like that digitally in my one of my old Lego ideas submission, the Climb Brick Gym. Uh, but at this scale, it's very small to, uh, it's too small to add those kind of details. I would need a bigger wall to make something nice. So I decided to add this. And then here I have a printed tile. This is a thing from, from some uh, video set. I'm gonna use a bracket and then I'm gonna uh, overhang a little bit at the, at the back of the habitat so I can fit uh, this one nicely inside there. Let me see. Sorry about the camera, if I can re-put that in the position. And there we go. So now we have a little bit of details and color at the back wall, and then we can finish up all these details. So now the walls are connected. Here we can go up all the way to the top and close it up here. So this is gonna connect, and then with a the tile we can finish up the top. Now, I need of course a place to where I can attach uh, our Spider-Man. So what I created is uh, a connection with this modified plate uh, to this piece, which we can add some leather going out diagonal and then coming down from the top, another of this uh, rain lightsaber effect. So we are gonna connect this on the side. This is supposed to go at the back. So something like this, okay? I hope it doesn't make the scene too dark. Anyway, let's get Spider-Man also into his pose. So here we're gonna remove the legs, only the legs, not the hips. And then we need to make sure that he's like coming down with uh, folded legs, like cross legs kind of thing. So like I did last time, I'm gonna move this to the other side and that part of the hips will give a little bit of friction so that actually these are connected pretty well, okay? So this is like if he has his flex leg and it's coming down from the top. Now, here we need to add a little bit of extra details uh, here to block the side a little bit over here and another one to block the side on this way. So now we have all the connection that we need for the scene, we just need to add this one. Uh, but once this is connected, the, the raining effect, it doesn't really work that much yet. So I decided to add one more, more or less here at the front. And to make it work, the best way I found was to actually uh, connect it to the end of Spider-Man. I hope that doesn't uh, look too weird, but let's angle this a little bit. Connect Spider-Man to the a spider web to where he is hanging. And now we can play a little bit around with the angles to find the right spot for this one. We can put Mary Jane a little bit forward, like if he's with the end is going towards a Spider-Man mask. Actually in the scene, she will uh, fall down the mask a little bit before the kiss. So this is the scene. I hope you guys, you will uh, like this better than the than the old one that I did a couple of years ago. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, before uh, we finish the video, let's see how it works next to another habitat. We can remove actually this uh, cheese slope over here so we can actually stack them and see how the two habitats look together. Completely different style and theme over here. Uh, now, if you like uh, Marvel characters and Marvel scene, I highly recommend you to check out my Iron Man vignette 12x12. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. Ciao, ciao!